Alright, this is just uh, this is just like my hypothesis here. As you know, they first released this footage showing what's supposedly the oil spill, and later on the Dylan Radigan show, uh, onshore, offshore drilling expert Matt Simmons said that that was not the real leak. There was another one, four to five. Uh, five to six miles away and uh, later also footage, uh, footage of the other leak or another leak was released which my husband has on his channel it's Barbarian Rebellion where you can see fire coming out there's also a lot of speculation that it was a volcano of some type of mud volcano possibly um, meanwhile there has not been uh, evidence of extensive oil slick along the coast there is oil and in some parts like around Grand Terre Island where James Fox went up you could see quite a lot of something in the water and black along the edges so there are areas for sure that are affected by oil it's in the marshlands that's been shown however it's not on the scale that you would expect it to be given how large we're being led to believe uh, this oil I don't want to call it, call it a spill this oil blowout is now you have Lindsay Williams coming on the Alex Jones show saying that what's happened is that the seafloor has been ruptured and that they have tapped into something that's called abiotic oil. It's like the precursor to the kind of oil that they usually um, drill for, like the crude. This is, this is like the real blood of the earth that lubricates the tectonic plates, which by the way puts an end to the idea of running out of oil. Oil is a finite resource because it's uh, it's like like I say it's like the blood of the earth there's there's just tons of it under there and there's one form which later apparently turns into the other form which goes into these wells which can be drained but which will replenish after time and apparently that's what's happening now so you got Lindsay Williams saying they've tapped into this horrible um, thing into the ground in the grounds this huge fissure uh, it, it cannot be stopped it's releasing all kinds of toxic chemicals which I don't doubt that it is and he's saying um, something that I had heard on the mainstream media a good couple of weeks before that when I did my vlog about uh, what are they going to do to fix it and they were saying they put golf balls and if that doesn't work they put a nuke down there. Well Lindsay Williams is saying the same thing that his inside sources say that the only solution may be to put a nuke down there. And, and, and the talk is of this large leak, this volcano being about 20 miles away from the oil rig that blew. There's also extensive uh, evidence of foreknowledge, Goldman Sachs dumping their shares, the CEO dumping his shares of BP, uh, Halliburton buying the boots and coots uh, oil firefighting uh, business, and also having been involved in cementing of the the wellhead just, just before it blew, replacing the drilling mud with seawater. There's a lot of stuff like that. Now here's what I think. Possibly. Number one, volcanoes are underwater are, are not an unusual phenomenon. And uh, actually they account, from what I've learned, for a good 75% of all volcanoes. Also, I, in my little mind, just don't see how an oil rig blowout in one place would cause a volcano 20 miles away. I mean, think about it, 20 miles. Oil rig blows in one place, 20 miles away it sets off a volcano. Why? Maybe I'm missing something here, but it's just something to consider. I, I think it's possible that they, they did have foreknowledge of a naturally occurring geological event. That possibly what they knew was that there was going to be a volcano in the Gulf of Mexico underwater going off. And that what they did was, and this is how it becomes a false flag, that they blew that oil rig to then blame the larger catastrophe on the blowing of the uh, on the blowout of the oil rig when in reality they have had absolutely nothing to do with it and it's even possible that the volcano had started already to erupt a couple of weeks before the um, oil rig was uh, blew or was blown it's possible because 
what they wouldn't have to tell us you know I mean there's there's a lot of secrecy going on all you have to do is look at BP and how they're handling this it's possible that either they could anticipate it because of scientific testing um, that they could anticipate there was going to be a, a volcano or or that the volcano started to erupt and then they blew the uh, the oil rig and that the because something really doesn't make sense. I mean, especially given the lack of cleanup efforts, th th there should be much more oil. And what people are seeing in the water, these red streaks of mud and all this stuff, it's not what you usually see from an oil spill. There's something else coming out of there, no doubt. And this is actually being admitted now. You have also the like large amounts of Corexit and um, stuff that's being dumped on there that's compounding the problem. And you even have um, local agencies being refused permission to do things like booming well they were at, at first I know in, in Louisiana they were trying to get permission to just do you know salvaging or clean up or whatever they wouldn't get it from the federal level so it's more than just foot dragging you know it's like an intentional effort to, to limit cleanup so I think it possibly is that, like I say, that the volcano is a naturally occurring event and that these things, like things like that, probably, I mean, if it happened this time, I'm sure it's happened other times in the last million years of our existence and that it's not going to end the world. It's just a volcano. It's going to have some toxic effects, but it's part of nature and it'll take care of itself. If you, if you do a rig blowout at the same time, you blame the other thing on that, you say it's man-made, then it's like, well, it's our fault, now we have to do something to fix it. But that may be a complete lie, possibly. And having come back recently from this conference, which all hinges around uh, man-made man climate change, man-destroying the environment, the need for green energy, I think this may somehow tie in with why there would be this kind of a false flag centering around oil when there is this big push by, you know, for example, like with the Copenhagen Agreement of wanting to scale back emissions to 90% less of they were what they were pre-1990, which you think would be impossible unless you got rid of 90% of the people or 90% of the industry, which wouldn't probably happen voluntarily. So maybe this is the kind of thing to bring in this, uh, this green change maybe also affect relocations. I, I don't exactly know what their big agenda is there, you know, I can only speculate, but I, I think it's possible that the volcano is just a natural event that probably would resolve itself, would cause a certain amount of limited damage, but it has nothing to do with us and there's nothing we can do to stop it. We really don't need to send a nuke down there. Has anybody ever, has anybody else out there been thinking like this? And, and that the oil rig, oil itself, uh, they have microbes to eat the oil. Uh, an oil leak itself can can be resolved. So it's not the oil that's the problem now. It's this volcano. Maybe the volcano is natural. That's all I'm saying. This is a total false flag. It's not the end of the world. If it was anyway, you know, they would do something like that, do a false flag and make us think that it's biblical prophecy coming true. Anyway, I, this was just something that I had been thinking of and I wanted to share it with you and let me know what you think.